In this section, we are going to learn about a very important method of array in JavaScript that is the map method. Map method is used often with all the JavaScript frameworks. It's a very important method to know when you implement various types of functionality. Before we understand the complex syntax, let's try a simple program with the map method. I am declaring an array of few elements. I am using the map method. The definition of map method says that it returns a new array. That we are going to try in a moment. But before that, let's try very simple syntax of the map method. Inside the map method, there is a callback function we write. This callback function is called every time for each element. Actually the map method loops through the entire array and this function is called for every element. Not only that, inside this list of parameters, map method passes the current value. Let me write current value, cval. We are not adding any code for the moment and we are trying to display the value of C well. Let's run this and see what is the output. As you can see at the bottom in the console, every element is displayed separately 3, 4, 5 and 6. This has happened because when this map method is called on the array, it loops through the entire array. Every element is passed to this function and this function is called for every element. It also passes the index number. So if you want to deal with the current index, that also you can write in the parameter list. Remember, these values are passed by the map method when this function is called. Let's try to display the value of index as well. I'm going to say cval, index. I'm clearing the console and running the code. Now you can see that it has displayed the value and the index number both. This is just to clarify that for every element this function is called and two parameters are passed by the map method. But the theory says that map returns a new array. What does that mean? Let's try to create a new array and we just try to return cval into cval. I am clearing the console. Let's try to display the value of new array. Now as you can see that this new array contains square of every element we have in the ARR array. Let's try to understand what has happened. The ARR has four elements and map method is executed for every element. It has a function where every element is passed one by one for each iteration. What are we doing in this function is we are returning a value that is cval into cval. That is we are trying to find square of all the numbers and we are assigning all the new values to new array. What map does is it returns values for every element and those elements are added to new array. So theoretically map has a callback function and it returns a new array. A callback function which has two parameters at the moment. You may have more parameters also. There is one optional parameter where you can pass the array itself. Or there is also one more optional parameter here where you can have reference of this. At the moment that's not our need so I'm removing these two. In this piece of code what have we done is we have created a new array with square of all these elements. Imagine if you do not have the map method how will you do this? You will put a loop till the length of the array length minus one that is and you will figure out this square and you will assign to new array. That's how you do it. But here because of the map method it loops through the array 
every time there might be a return statement which is getting executed but eventually an array is filled with all the elements if i ask you in simple words to find square of all elements and create a new array map is the easier way let's take another example i'm going to take an array of object literals let's say let arr is equal to we are creating for example employee number 1 employee name test this is the first element of arr let's take two more elements i'm going to say test 1 test 2 here i'm going to say 3 so now we have an array of object literal let's try to loop through this using the map method i'm creating a new array here i'll say arr dot map will have the function here i am going to pass the current value let's try to console dot log the current value now as you can see that you have the individual object literal getting displayed imagine that you want only employee numbers in the new array so here i am just going to write the return statement because c well is the object literal which has eno as the key let's try to display the new array so now you have a new array with only employee numbers from the main array which is actually an array of object literals there are multiple ways you can use the map method but the gist of theory is that map method is applied on every element it loops through every element and every element and the index number is passed in the callback function we have inside the map function we have written the function here only straight away instead of this i can keep this function with a different syntax let's say i create the function called maybe test and this function is an arrow function and inside this i'm going to say c well and i am returning c well dot eno inside the map method i will simply pass the test function this is the different way of writing so instead of writing an inline anonymous function we are passing the reference of function called test so this is also a callback function only we are giving a name of the function instead of having an anonymous function let's try to run the same code you will observe that the output is similar so map is a very useful method which any javascript developer must know now we know how do we use the map method let's check the syntax also map method takes two parameters first is the callback function and second is a value to use as this argument object when executing the callback function this parameter we normally don't see used in most of the programming practices further callback function also has three values passed first is the current value in which every element is passed one by one during the traversal in an array by map method second parameter is the index number of the current value and the third parameter is a copy of an array on which map is applied which is again not used often both the second and the third parameter are optional the first parameter you have to pass map method returns a new array if you don't use the new array you should not use the map method just to loop through an array you can go with for each or for of in such cases